Hello everyone, this is Jonathan here, and first, I am using my new headset with microphone, yay. And also, this is going to be a review, but not as a comic book or a movie or something else. This, in fact, is going to be a review about a book that I recently got from my girlfriend. Well, actually, she sent a package to me around early, at the end of March, but... Um, it took about almost six months to get. Not that, not that they were to the most hard. It was cause of the Corona crisis going on. But I got at least. And the book is Crystal Girls: Wonder Calls Forever: The Diary of Celestia and Luna. It was written by C. D. Chesterfield, and it was published in two thousand seventeen. I was actually unaware about this particular book until I found it in my package. But this was actually a really interesting book, I admit. When I first saw it, and I looked through it, and there was some really unusual. After all, this book is taking the place of Principal Celestia and Vice Principal Luna as her Celestia's senior year and Luna's freshman year at Cantalot High School. I was really surprised at this book, though. And especially when we... I didn't know much about the Luna or Celestia before they started working at the school. I mean, this was actually very unique. But it was very... And even also more details about their particular... How they before they end up working at the school, and even some other things. Knowing more about their background stories, or like their characters, was, they was actually very, really happy to know that. And especially knowing how the friendship games even started. That was really, really great. I mean, this the it's a post of this story in this book where we suppose then the supposed friendship games were supposed to be in every year. But it turned out that Professor Principal Potts, which is the previous principal, and the principal cringe of the crystal prep had decided to change that from every year to every fourth year, which Makes sense, though. This book was, I thought, going to be focused on it more of their, like, mostly like teenage years. But when I read the part where the friendship games, I was like, this might be interesting. But there's something else, though. Things didn't end up as we expected when reading in the book, though. I was like, wow, this is something very interesting. Seeing how much Luna or a bit worried how she will let, how she will fit in in the high school. Ever since most of them had lost friends since they went to different high schools. Apparently Chris Kendall High School is not is not the only one. Since there are several other schools including Crystal Prep which is um a high school. Some of their friends went to Crystal Prep and some of them went to Cantalot High School. But I won't get much in details about this book because I don't want to give much hints or spoilers. But overall, what I think about this book is really amazing though. And especially when we're seeing how the how this Friendship games even started in the first place, and know more about live more about Celestia and Luna's hum human versions background before they became the principals at the school. And even though, let's say that at the end of the books, when Celestia's closing words, that she hopes that she will be back to Cantalot High School someday, maybe as a teacher or a coach or perhaps even as a principal, 
which in hindsight from that, she did actually turn out to be the principal. But this was actually a very interesting book. But if something else, I admit, this book itself was very, very catchy. It seems we know much about some of the details of former, before mostly how the students end up to be like Celeste and Luna before they became the principals at school. But even their parents are mentioned. I was not expecting that. They mentioned first they both parents and their own only the dad. But sadly, they didn't mention them by name. Only mentioned that they lived with the parents, but not by their names. When I read the parents, I was like, are we finally getting to know what the parents' names are? Since the human world, the human world is an, a mirror image to the pony world. But sadly, we didn't. But what I think about this book itself, though, well, I would say it was really amazing book. And I'm actually very grateful for my girlfriend to send me this book. Even though that this book itself was really unique. Know more about it. Than knowing more about Celestia and Luna's background before they even begin the principles and how Luna took it when she started high school in the first place. I mean, anyone who starts a, a higher grade from schools so in, in the education, like in high school, I can understand it can be a little bit terrifying knowing a new entire school, new teachers, perhaps even for a scared if you will make any friends or perhaps even make some enemies. But knowing that you are, you have some friends from back, perhaps even from middle school or perhaps even elementary school, perhaps go to the same school as you, and then, yeah. But the same thing, this is also probably one of the best stories we have for at least about this particular of their characters. This review of a new type of stories, of especially a canon book of the Equestria Girls, especially focused on Luna and Celestia. It is really something unu unusual, but still, it's her, this is probably one of the best books of her My Little Pony I have read so far, and probably only the first one. But I, I wish they could have been in some, perhaps some others, like maybe focused on Perhaps some of the main six from the human world, perhaps even, I don't know, how Sunset, when she, how her life been, how her life was in the Equestria sometimes before, like that, I don't know. But it's very, I did actually like this book. It shares some, some new information about those, these particular two characters. Even knowing though, because we even know something else. The principal Kinch from Crystal Prep turned out to be starting to work as the principal at the same time when Luna and Celestia started went to high school again. So, and knowing much about their this these two these two characters' background is. Very something I'm really interested on. Because after I started start watching these movies and it, and it's this short clips they had and the special ones, I was curious to know more about these these particular characters. I mean it was like what happened before they became the principals? Well, now we have some of some of the answers. Except for example, how they how their high school were together and how the first friendship games even started. And I was really surprised how this much of the details, even this book itself was just focused on these two characters. But I was fairly 
great to hand get this book myself from my own girlfriend and she is really awesome to have given this book even though I only just read this book only finished the book is yesterday it's still very intimate you will know more about the characters if you read it yourself but who knows that is all I want to say in this particular review and I know this review probably is a little bit longer than I usually do, but still. What I will give this rating of this book? Well, I would say 5 stars of 5. It's really deep details on some of the background stories about this, this particular characters and how other things look at no more than about, about his two characters itself. But anyways. This is all I want to say for now, and I do hope everyone has a good day and stay, stay, staying safe during this crisis going on. And once again, if you have any opinions about this little book, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe, leave a comment, and as always, this is Switch Diablo over and out.